Thank you for continuing to watch the Rec League. The games will continue in just seven minutes. Don't go away.
Grandy Cakes with the Twitch Prime. Prime, Prime. Welcome back everyone to the new season of the Rec League. This is season five, week number one, and we're bringing you another hype game today. And by we, I mean me, Ratty Z, and I'm joined by the birthday excellence himself, Icicly on the mic. Say hello back again to the peoples. Hi guys. How's life? How's life? How's it going? I hope it's treating everybody as well as it's treating you today, because that victory in the previous series was so nice. But it was really fun to watch. The season's already starting to look pretty good. What do you think about that last series? Uh, fun, fun games for sure. I mean, being in them, I don't know, it's, I don't know, new position, new role. It was uh, a learning experience. I'm definitely not having the positioning I need to be. So I have a lot to work on. But we're gonna get there. Exactly, and we are going to get there for sure. And first, we'll start off with the teams here. We got Ocean versus Merc, Merc Wolves. Look it up on the screen right now. We do have. The, uh, the new rosters for each of these and some of the big moves that we've seen from the previous seasons is that if you've been following Ocean, you know that this team looks very familiar with two very special things. One being Shu is back on the roster, but he has been moved down to the marksman, the AD carry, the bot lane position. What do you think about that move? Um, well, so I think AD carry is one of the most bad, the best roles to carry from. And if you're particularly gifted at mouse movement and right clicking, like I know Shu is. Uh, you can just slap. So I expect big things, and I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed with this matchup either, because we got the Merc Wolves lineup on the other side. And tell me what you know about this special lineup coming at us this season. Uh, so the Merc Wolves uh, is basically Gray's Gambit and uh, his his posse, I guess. He just, I, I don't know where any of these players came from. I'm really excited to see him on the rift, though. Although, uh, the Snowman 1 is Athcore, for those that don't know, so he just name changed. So he was, uh, he played, was he, oh, he was on the Wolves last season. Yeah, he was on Wolves last season. Okay. So. Yeah, definitely, but yeah, just just changing it up a little bit, you know, getting over to right. the new, uh, new feel of it, but even still, I'm super excited, because Gray, Gray's Gambit's a great dude, and his posse, I'm sure, are gonna be so fun to watch. So other than that, I just think we got to see, you know, what's going to happen this season. So many things have happened in the offseason. I feel like I haven't even touched the game in forever sometimes. When I come in and I see champions that I don't know any of the, the moves for, I'm going to start sounding like a goon on this cast. What do you think we're going to see this season? What are some of the power picks for these teams as we get this so game rolling? So I think rolling? some of the power picks, at least right now, Rise is the most overtuned Rise has ever been. If you're not picking Rise, you're just playing the game wrong. Uh, the fact that we got it twice uncontested felt really ridiculous. Uh, I don't know why it's not played in LCS. I literally couldn't tell you why. So maybe it, they know. They obviously know something I don't. But like that champ is just absurd. So <laughs> rise, uh, definitely. Pantheon combined with Sejuani, definitely gonna be huge. Uh, and oh, I have one more. Oh, Kiana. Kiana's like so overtuned right now. It hurts my face. Like that. It's just ridiculous. The numbers are so high. You yeah. you can just hit three and just like kill someone straight up hundred to zero can fully understand that and let's see which one if any of these that the teams are gonna get we are in the champ select right now hanging out looking to see what they're gonna pick up for this and so we're seeing see some bands probably see some comfort bands right i imagine week one you never really know what people have been practicing 
get get yeah. the best research you can do, but right. There's a limit to how much you can do. There's also like, especially like with the roll swap, like Shu. I mean, you kind of just have to go off his match history. It's like harder to like establish it. Uh, what exactly that pool is? Yeah, very, very much so. That's and then for yeah. all, yeah, for like all the other players, especially like a lot of wolves who haven't played in the rec league at all. There's no film of them, and there's no film of them in their positions, which is also the case for a lot of ocean players, but not all. Phoenix and Bash, both uh, mid and supports who have film in the rec league so you can go back and see like what they like to pick and stuff like that which is kind of a little bit what we just saw right there right we just got the nico taken away from phoenix z sitting in the mid right you know he's been picking that had had some uh, various amounts of success with that which was really fun to watch if nothing else for sure my boy in the mid lane he's back i'm excited to see what he's got this season but other than that we got yeah. the first pick coming out of uh, series number two which is nautilus Oh, I'm definitely going to Bash. Bash yeah. and Nautilus is disgusting. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm so pumped that's, for that. That's one of those picks where you could have just gone to many Infernal games and found the footage of that one because it just is very good. Camille Blind feels a little odd. She can There's a lot of losing matchups for Camille, although I don't, to be honest, know them off the top of my head, but I know there are. But following the Malphite actually might be... All right. Yeah, it's, it's interesting here with the Camille Malphite because now I guess you can technically flex which one goes where, yeah? Yeah, you can play Camille Jungle. and That might even be more like meta to Camille Jungle with a Malphite top. Phoenix going to... Okay. I'll probably pick the Malzar here. Malzar is such a safe pick. That's a that's a champ that's been in the Rec League since like the dawn of time. Uh, yeah. I don't expect it to go anywhere this season. It can't. I mean, the, the champ just it just does too much for our particular league, you know, what, what we needed to do. Got yeah, that so here's click. the issue, though. Uh, 802's Yasuo, uh, they had a scrim one day that I watched in on, and it was incredible. I don't expect him to not pick this, especially with the Malphite already locked in. This seems like a very simple pick. Uh, and I think Ocean is actually in a significant amount of trouble right now. <laughs> Which makes me excited to see because I want to see the highlight plays come out for the first series, right? This is when you start to make a name for yourself. This is the game where you get any champion you want and then you never get them again. Yeah, it is definitely <laughs> the first. Yeah, the first game can be like that for sure. This is the one moment, one opportunity for 802 to seize everything he ever wanted. It's 802 mile is what's happening. So we got some more bands coming out, coming at... Uh, Coming at the snowman, of course, taking away the Ezreal, the kind of like safe, just sit back in your lane, do whatever you want, farm until late game sort of pick, which is... Yeah, judging off that, I expect either uh, a Callista or... Um, I don't I don't know if he has Draven on his match history, but Illusion or Callista, those are the two I'm thinking from shoot. They're trying to get rid of like the safe lanes. They want to be able to like just punish and go hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably take away Morgana here. That's your... At this point, I think Morgana was banned in the first round from oh, Merc. Perfect. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Good to go. Well, there you go. <laughs> Take it away. Looking nice. And I think we got Shu on Kaisa, yeah? Yes. Which I'm excited for. That's a late game fun champion to watch. Yeah, I don't I don't know what Cobalt's going to end up doing in the top lane. Picking Sivir makes sense here. Safe pick. Just try to not, like, clear, just try to, like, clear the waves and not die to whatever Shu's going to lock in here. Or, sorry, whatever the bot lane. Oh, you're right. Okay, that's what you're trying to tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. Looks it's good. Been a while, guys. <laughs> it's like I'm with the Orn on the top lane. Are we... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This is this is baby. Yeah. You back for some rec league season five yeah. week run? Getting the rust off right now. You're just watching us live beat the rust out of the weapons that we. Uh, Orn is forged. also. Yeah, Orn is also a champion. I think that's on the rise right now. Orn and Poppy both got buffed recently. They're kind of. I'm not saying they're overtuned because I haven't seen a lot of them, but I think they're a champion that's going to kind of pop that out of nowhere in a patch or two and just like never go away for the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. I'll start makes sense. Um, just a good deal support. And you have, I mean, this is like the dream for uh, for Yasuo, right? You got the Alistar, you got the Malphite. It's just, yeah, they it's really, a lot. Yeah. Even Camille with the, yep. uh, uh, the off the wall doesn't slight knock up, right? When it knocks back. It which can does, be even Yasuo, yeah. so that's that's some sickness right here. But I'm excited uh, for this. You can even you can even come or Yasuo ult off the Camille ult like when because Camille like pushes people outside away mm. from whatever. How so sick! Yasuo ult off that. So what you're um, saying yeah, is, this, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of setup here. So there's two things that are really, that's gonna well, we have three minutes to get into this. That's but true. 
Just looking at these real quick, the two things that are going to be very important. Oh my god, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Hell yeah. Uh, are the uh, jungle <laughs> mid matchups is basically it. Like, if I can get the invades off and get into this Malphite's jungle, and like, because Malphite's a pretty bad jungler, so if I can get in there and just kind of like actually manage to, uh, you know, get a fight, get a little yeah. skirmish early. Disrupt. Uh, disrupt it yeah that's going to be huge for them because it's going to set the malphite back and that'll like allow the vita pressure the also and i'll conversely if he also is able to hit three and just kill the malzahar like i think 802 might be able to uh on that champion absolutely then that's he's going to be able to help out his jungler in those skirmishes easy. so we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah i'm that's what we'll to say i wonder do you think then uh gray's gambit's gonna have to adjust his pathing to make sure he doesn't run into that Vi in the early part of his uh, his clear? Or do you think he's just going to seed part of the jungle? Or do you actually think that Yasuo is going to beat Malzahar in the early game? Well, I th so it, to me it just depends how what Gray's estimate of Jamu, Because if Jamu is going to be able to get that... Like, if, if he has the balls to make the invade happen, then Gray needs to adjust his pattern. But if he doesn't, then just just go do you know blue to red do the standard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whatever it is so let me ask you this question what's the sub temper twitch plot prime play of the game what's it gonna be what are oh, we looking I, for I, that when it happens I, I have to hit the bell which means uh, everyone's got a sub because you saw it live so what the play of the game would probably be here uh, a four man five man mouth idol into you also ult into an Alistar WQ fail combo that pushes uh, <laughs> Shu outside of the the giant massive combo that's going on. So like that would probably, if that occurs, like that Alistar is gonna feel real bad. Ding pushes them out and then Shu reverse aces. Yeah, them. takes them all down. <laughs> that's it. That, that would be it. That would be it right there. Uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. So hopefully, if you all believe in that out there, know that that's the September slash Twitch Prime play of the game that we're hoping to occur. It might be a stretch. I don't know. Maybe I should have gone for an easier one. <laughs> Even still, that's a fantastic one. All, all the same. If we get the if we get the double combo, the Alistair Bow fight, I'm I'm that's it. Dude. I'm opening up the wallet, yeah. sending it out there. Rec League. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Hopefully, we bring you some good gameplay and some even better hype moments. Because gameplay is overrated. All right. So than that, <laughs> what else? What other thing are we looking for here? It kind of looks like. Uh, I mean, we have like the Sivir Kaisa sort of lane. Are we expecting any particular dominance from each side? I mean, we know that Shu is the uh, has been one of the hallmarks of our, our league for a while. So we're hoping he does well. But we have Athcore running it back with. Uh, we guess again untested bot lane. So what, what are you expecting to see uh, down in the bot side? And then we'll move to yeah, the top. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not. Uh... This is definitely a prove it to me moment. Uh, prove it to the league. Prove that you're not just gonna sit here and get decimated uh, by two of our. Like honestly, Nash was easily the best support we had last season too. Yeah. Um, and Shu was the best mid laner. Sorry, Shadow Bolt. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, like if you, I, I don't know. To me, to me, it's all about like the, their oceans bot lane is the lane. Like, this is arguably the best bot lane in the league right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> he gave me the toxic in chat. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is definitely one of the best bot lanes in the league right now. So, I think I think it's, like, the onus of this game is really on them uh, to just get massively ahead. Kind of like we saw uh, Gromp's bot lane do in the last game. Um, and then figure out after, if that happens, and after that happens, they then have to figure out how to get around the swambo combo that grump has drafted how do you team fight around that that's very true i think it's gonna be really hard to do that but they do have the ability to pick off those key members they got the malzahar right to lock them down they got the vita locked down and there's a plenty of damage nautilus knock people up slow people root them all up mm. it's gonna be who, who picks the fights right we got the orn to pick the fight who's it gonna be who chooses will it be the malphite will it be the orn Ooh, ooh. Will these casters... You know what these casters will say? They say, uh... In reality... I mean, Raddy Z was the best at all positions. She just wasn't playing. So, unfortunately for you all, <laughs> you didn't get to see the glory. But that's okay. Maybe someday in the future, when I get tired of auto chess. <laughs> we'll what, is, uh, what is your game timer at right now? 
Uh, my game timer is actually let me turn on the UI like an actual not jabroni. Uh, currently 28 seconds. 29, 30. Do I need to speed up? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm at 36 right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we good. We got the defensive spread from the blue team on Ocean. We got the offensive brush murder squad going on for the Merc Wolves, hiding in the brushes like a bunch of wolves. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. I know, I got the... Looking, looking for the early game pick, and conversely, you got Ocean pulling the skirmish line. Uh, maybe adjust that UI a tiny bit. Get on the numbers, zeros. My zeros a little off? All right. They're just... They're thick. <laughs> thick. The thick boys? All right. Check, 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 check. All right. <laughs> Make him smaller. We're working on it. Got the technology. <laughs> um, Maybe nothing's really yeah, happening so, right now. Yeah. Go so ahead. we do have Greg Gamic going the traditional blue star, but on conversely, we also see Jamu on the other side. Which maybe Jamu's going to go blue to red here, but uh, like, was it vertical jungling? He's going to go blue to Malphite's red. Maybe. I'd love to see that. I don't know if it'll happen. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see here. Although we got the Camille just waiting waiting for Cobalt to show up to do a little bit of punishment. Didn't happen, so we're just moving back on. All right. Phoenix eating a little bit of Whirlwind there. Says, ah, oh, Malphite. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you really do here. But I'm really interested in this bot lane, right? How how aggressive... Oh, even still, as soon as I say that, Alistair going in. A little bit of the knock-up combo hits one half of the boomerang, but Snowman's got to back up a little bit. The damage is already coming out. The root's coming out. The ignite is there. Lion has to flash. And Snowman's okay. looking to back him up. Okay. Quick. Yeah, just the level one combination there. Yeah, exactly. You got, you got to be careful with that, especially with the Nautilus, right? Got a lot of that control really early in the game before Alistair has yeah. the combo. Tons of damage, honestly. I, did he take shield first, or was he? Uh, he started off with Q. So he did a. He started off with some aggression, but unfortunately, there just was not enough damage to follow up. Right. And uh, she was just on point with getting those stacks up. Yeah, he was able to get there uh, first. Ooh, Cobalt getting a couple, getting some damage off there. Uh, Ooh. Bomb though, using the passive though to good effect, saving a little bit. I like this though. There's there's some good trades in the top lane here. It's fun to watch. Yeah, he would go with a Malphite invade, actually, that the Yasuo, after being able to push in the Malzar, does have a little bit of rotation to you, but really this is just going to be an easy take for the Malphite. Hey, just grabbing it up. 802, just shoving the lane nonstop. Yeah. We have a Vi. This is, we got a little ring around the Rosie going here with uh, Gray's Gambit and Jemu. Get, he's going to get the scuttle, but instead we got Gray's Gambit coming in for the early gank on the bot side. Oh, Let's yeah. see what they can get out of this. He doesn't have a red buff. Because yeah, he thought Jamu took his red off. So just oh <laughs> this is gonna Nobody saw well. that. I think they can turn this. Yeah, especially with the red buff going on. See if we get the flash off to it. Oh, he's just gonna oh, sacrifice right. his life. He's done. Oh, but with the teleport coming in right now, this is turning into a little bit of a little snafu coming in. Bombay I'm getting the slow off on Vosh. Vosh does get the wall. Although double flash is going off. Might be the first blood gets it on the Malphite. Takes him down. I won't lie, that I'm surprised that actually worked, but um, I mean, yeah, good, good move, good move, Merc. That was a good TP. Absolutely, and because of that, since they called in their jungler early, they might end up grabbing this scuttle. Yeah. The, oh. Oh. <laughs> the one, sorry, sorry. The one problem here is uh, Orn isn't shoving this. The second that TP goes, you need to just like get this into the tower ASAP. Camille's actually going to get back to top. And isn't going to lose anything. Yeah, we'll get actually the entire wave. Pretty much get all of the stuff that she should have missed. So that's not a good play for Cobalt. Yeah, not this time, but, unfortunately. Well, it depends, though. If this Camille gets a little too aggressive right now, like tries to go fight Cobalt in this minion wave, yeah, like that. Yeah, I was going to say, you're just going to die. Like, this, like, you're just destroyed by all these minions. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> those the minions damage. get a lot of damage. Yeah, so what you got to do is just let it push to the tower, please, and don't <laughs> take infinite yeah, right. damage in the wave. So we had a little bit of uh, back and forth. Ooh. This could be a kill in the bot lane, actually. Definitely oh. popped. Boop. Popped, as they say. Boop. Gonna get some meat tonight. I don't know which cut you think it is. Is this like 93% uh, like lean? You know, like 7% yeah. fat? Or are we looking at like 80-20 right now? Sure. Yeah, exactly. We're looking at the, uh, get... the greasy ones, you know? The delicious burgers. Okay, Jake. Horsing Jamie's flash there. 
Yeah, there's there's definitely some uh, action going on here. There's a lot of jungle presence kind of hovering around the mid lane at the moment, too. I mean, Yasuo's been can wander back and forth, letting the waves go back and forth. So I'm not really seeing any of the predicted Yasuo action roaming just yet, but we're getting close to yeah. that level six. But he is doing a good job farming. Um, he's keeping up pretty well. Oh, absolutely. Being the 42 to 36. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say, arguably, is doing incredibly well. <laughs> mm-hmm. And even still the bot lane, you gotta even give some credit to uh, Snowman, the Snowman 1, even still uh, with a little bit, even the early death is still doing decently in the lane versus a lot of pressure that was coming out early, uh, given the kill, which is pretty good. Gotta give credit where credit is due, right? Even though yeah, you just missed absolutely. that cannon, sorry about that. Cast a curse. <laughs> no. Yikes. Cast a curse, strikes again. Gets him! So now we got a little bit more, uh, just back and forth, just a lot of giant waves and Interesting pushing techniques going on on the top side right now. Not really sure how I feel about all this, but even still, it's fun to watch because there's a lot of minions grouping up right now, and uh, he's gonna lose like all of these to the tower. Oh, that's a big yikes! That's a no for me, dog. Uh, but so we got, we still got some more going on. Uh, we gonna get Cobalt does still have his TP, so we got, we got a deep Alistair going on right here, getting some serious wordage going on. Yeah, that pink ward hopefully gets spotted real soon, because... It's one of those that could last a long time. Yeah, that's one that could cause some serious damage uh, if it's able to stay on the map. Until it's a distinguished ward of everlasting whatever shenanigans. <laughs> exactly. Whatever they call it nowadays. But other than that, we do have uh, just some... Some playing back and forth. We get some buys. We do have some ultimates going on in the mid lane. We'll have to see what's going on here. Yeah, so opting for that early uh, Berserker grief so we can get that just easy easy early game, right? Those auto attacks, those Qs just looking so, so friendly. Yeah, you also just scale so well with the movement speed and attack speed that getting just rushing boots right off the bat is the move in every matchup. Well, it's feeling good he then. Because, you know, he gets that shield the more he moves, so. That's true. That's, that's, yeah, that's how it scales off the movement speed. And then attack speed just scales stupidly with Yasuo in general, so. All good stuff. So we have the, uh, we might see a little bit of action here coming on, uh, fade in the mid lane, potentially an invade coming on here. Although they see it, they leave it. Got some pings coming out. They think, they know he's there. The pink, uh, did he just walk over that pink? I think he might have. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna try to clear it. Yeah, okay, he did. He saw it. Gray's Gambit, like, putting the, putting the meaty fists on the pink. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I Ooh, totally missed the kill on the top side. Him. I know, I clapped him up, but we had we had some stuff going on in the, the mid lane there. Cobalt, I'm sorry, my man. I'm yeah, sorry, you have to... horn right through that guy. I he... was well played. Nicely done. We're we'll going to have to go back and take a look at that at the end of the game here, bro. Otherwise, we got Jamie getting the kill on a Gray's Gambit. We got a big fight going on in the river. Oh. 802 could fall in super low. Gets the ultimate off, but does not have enough of the moves She's to get the kill. I know Jamu is backing up. Phoenix is also here. Vash is there, too, and Shu is there. This is going to be a dead... Dead snowman. That's a triple oh. for Shu. And Give if you're a Team Ocean fan right now, that's everything you need. So now step one, get Shu ahead is achieved. Step two, to navigate the hellacious team fight uh, that Merkel was brought to the table here. That's what we're going to be looking for going forward. Exactly. And they're picking up that air drake, getting the movement, going to be walking around the map. Going to help out with those rotations. And at this point, also, you like to see that Orn getting a little ahead too. You get to get a big front line. It's going to feel yeah. so nice in those team fights. It's really going to be quite helpful. Uh, I was going to say, I thought 802 might be going in for that fight. Phoenix he almost overstayed his welcome with almost zero mana in his plate. Yeah, 802 saw that zero mana, so he's just going way, way far up. He's just going to push these waves into the tower and force Phoenix to lose some farm. Phoenix does have TP in a hot second. Don't know how many seconds. 27. Thank you, Jmu, for pinging me. So, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, He'll be headed back um, a couple waves, and, so he won't lose that much, but he will lose some, for sure. So Jamie on the top side, looking to potentially get invaded again, but this case, they spot out the Malphite, gets him knocked up a little bit, falling, oh, that's a lot of damage from Cobalt right now, Grace Gambit's gonna have to use his ultimate to get over that wall. Yeah, that's See you later. Cooldown. Woo! 106 second cooldown right now, that's not, well, it's not that crazy, I guess. It's My a minute and a half, a little more. Looking, Ooh. yeah, it's not too bad. Does not die from it, but it, it's just there's just some some shenanigans going on right now. Right, Cobalt was definitely the right place. Off. 
We also got some plates coming down right now in the uh, mid lane. This, this tower is taking a lot of damage. Alistar doesn't have ult here. Phoenix should be okay stepping up. Probably won't. He might die, but he won't lose. Oh, they're going to get that plate. Here comes the here comes the greed going in for the, uh, the kills there. Here comes the damage coming out. Phoenix is definitely falling super low. Oh, turns it around. Jamu was the... The minions to pick it up there. <laughs> And then the bot lane picks it up another on to uh, the snowman, which that's what happens when your support runs away. Oh my goodness, that was disgusting. I was too busy watching the outplay in the mid lane when the damage comes out on the bot side. She was looking at the sick 5-0 right now. A little bit of the outplay is actually, that was so close in the mid lane. Phoenix Z survived with a sliver of health and then dies to the minions. It was, yeah, that was super close. Heartbreaking, if you're a Phoenix Z fan, which we all are. Yeah, he's kind of a good guy. Yeah, you know. So then we got a little okay, bit of back so and forth something... in the top here, too. Yeah, so what are you saying? Uh, Mills head back to base, has TP. I actually kind of expect them to make a play in the bot lane right now. Greed Gambit is walking down. He's going to have ultimate up. He might just be heading to... Oh, never mind. There's the TP used. To yeah, the TP used okay. on the top side. Yeah, unfortunately Shucks. getting the shutdown I was, on I was getting right? really... Yeah, I was getting really hypey for a, a good old Merkle Swambo combo right now. Because that's... Again, that's what they need to do. They need to go down here into Shu. They need to Malphite ult him, Yasuo ult him, Ali combo him. And they need to get this bounty off him. Uh, that's how you end up winning this. Especially getting that bounty into the uh, the Yasuo place here. But you, they're coming. Cobalt might be in trouble. The top lane. Yeah, he's gone. Oh! oh. <laughs> wow. Shoots it the wrong way. That's okay because we're watching this bot side actually go down right now. We're getting some knockdowns. The shutdown going on to Jamu. Vosh and Shu are running for the hills. Shu is ignited, falling very low. 802 get, does not get the kill, but air, the snowman one does get the kill. Okay. So they do execute their plan accordingly and pick up three for one. Yeah. They, they, yeah. So, so that's a double leap. Good play, because they also won the top line. They're going to get plates up there, and they're going to get plates in the bot lane. And if you're looking at the plates on the map right now, uh, I would say Merc Wolves are, like, kind of up. Definitely. There's only eight, eight plates remaining to uh, the 12 on the other team. So. Definitely. A 100 really? gold uh, difference is separates these teams right now. Yeah. Or did, for a second ago. Did. But it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. These teams are very close, is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. <laughs> You're true. Uh, this is the uh, Br Brian the Broken does not lie in chat. He is uh, Yasuo is currently seven deaths uh, too short of the ten death Yasuo power spike. It's true, he's getting there. They're building him up. Yeah, he's working on it. He's got to get. He's got to get a few more under his belt. Uh, and we do see there. the no magic metal come out from the also after the Phantom Dancer, so we do expect that QSS pretty quick. Definitely needed for this matchup here. Yeah, got absolutely. a little bit of a uh, river control going on for Jamie on the bot side. Let's see if we turn this into anything because we, they're calling the troops up. Oh, they catch out Lion hanging out. TSM Lion just gets TSM in the dirt, kind of like TSM the team right Oof. now, unfortunately. Lion's in Escanor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to call him Lion. That's a lot of words. <laughs> it's a lot of words, and I've had a couple ciders, oh. so let's do it. Oh, but we got the dive coming in on the bot side right now. Shu is there. We got Jamu is there on a killing spree, and Vash is just tanking all. Yeah, Gold's golden. Betrayed by those minions. <laughs> <It's pretty close. laughs> the minions definitely did not want him to survive that one. Here comes Cobalt. See if he can't predict it. Oh, unfortunately, just misses. Was going for that call of the Forge God. Was not able to line it up correctly. But instead, Ocean picks up the Infernal Dragon. Giving oh them their gosh, second dragon of the day. Might be a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, Bomb Bomb Bam feeling a little too confident there. Goes right up and gets smacked by a full Orn combo. Has to burn his ult to get out. Oh, that's... Which is really unfortunate too. I mean, you, you definitely yeah, need that he... duel. If he hadn't gotten burned there, he probably could have used that ult to actually pick up a kill during the next set of missed Cobalt abilities. Or you Col when Cobalt uses his abilities on the lane, rather. Right. Uh, he might be able to go pick that up, but now there's no kill pressure at all. And he actually just has to base off it, too. Which we should see. Hopefully we get a little bit of uh, pushing action here, I think, which we are seeing. Excellent. Cobalt deciding that it's time for him to push those minions, get some buys off. Does have himself... Uh, there's a couple 500 gold to spend right now. I'm not looking like he's going to be bringing home anything too disgusting. But other than that, we've got a little bit more parody. Uh, a little bit of that fun stuff was dying down a little bit. A lot of those kills. Now we're just getting back to the whole farming thing. 
But other than that, so we got we got Shu sitting in lane. We got them just going back and forth. Nothing really going on. Too crazy mid lane, just pushing. As you see that Yasuo, uh, no longer ahead in farm as he was before. Phoenix Z yeah. did catch up. He he's sitting on a enough. God damn! Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold from this week. So. <laughs> oh, but we got some action going on right now. Phoenix Z in the mid lane. There. Oh, no! oh, catches up with the ultimate under the turret. Let's see if he gets the turret. Oh, the double kill back and forth. Phoenix in the trade with the 802. Yeah. That's the so fun stuff those, I was talking about. One of those tower shots looked like it just went into nothing, but it actually went into that uh, Phantom Dancer that he picked up. So that Phantom uh, Dancer was the reason he managed to get that kill going, or he would have just been very dead to the tower. Yeah, definitely good play on both their parts. 802 knowing when he could take that fight, right. and Phoenix C knowing that he was within range of tower to get that ultimate Right, off. so the only unfortunate thing is if he had just based and got the QSS before doing that, then he would have just killed him for free. <laughs> that's, um, that's very true. So, now we might see a little bit more uh, aggressive action from that also after he is um, able to pick that one up. Ooh, we got some fighting on the top side. Bomb Bam is there. Oh, he gets oh! interrupted! <laughs> interrupted in the middle of his hook shot. Cobalt said, fool me once, shame on me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Try it again, shame on you, is what just happened right there. <laughs> Hits him with it out of the hook shot. I love it. So we got a little bit more shoes coming in. Finds Lions and Escanor and one. Escanor. <laughs> it's too much, man. I can't do it. I can't Lions do it. Lions and Escanor. It's a, it's a, for those that don't know, it's an anime character from, uh, what is it? The Seven Deadly Sins. Gotcha. It's a pretty good anime. You should watch it. I will it's check like it one out. one of the only like two or three that I've seen. Well, here's what's going to happen. If, if I do watch it, I'm going to end up trying to find a dub version. Oh, Jamu does there, picks it up, and then gets out of dodge before the entire squad yeah, chases him of. down. Ooh, this he's... looks like a big top line dive with an Alistar leading. Oh, oh, oh the no! miss! <laughs> the top plays are the come, but the damage is definitely there. Cobalt is falling super low. The tower is eating away at their health bars, though. Going on to the Yasuo Alliance, it's going down. She's on a rampage. We have everyone falling on the side. This is three for one thus far. Okay, they turned it around. It's just a little too telegraphed. An ocean read it like a book. So here's the deal. Like, Merkel's wombo combo is sick, but only if they execute her. You don't throw your mouth idol on to the front line. Yeah, I, was... I don't know. I, just, I feel like they were expecting that to only be a 2v5, but, like, they were chasing it for so long that yeah. all of Team Ocean had more than enough time to, you know, take the slightly shorter route to that tower and back up their boys. Yeah, especially when one of them just dove just slightly too far. And now we get yeah. the double charge coming out of Shelly. We got four men on the top side. Gets the charge off. Here comes the damage. Right. Kaboom. Half health on the inhibitor but turret. We also need to throw credit to Jamie for that incredible flash. Like, flashing that alley combo was... Because if he didn't do that, then they both get um, Malphite ulted, and that's a different team fight. That's true. Yeah. Then they're so both that dead. Was, that was very well, well flashed by... Uh, Jamu. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to see it. The big play is coming out. That could have been the uh, the Alistair knockout, double, you know, everything we ever wanted. Twitch Prime is what it could have been. But otherwise, we have 802 pushing it down. We have very a lot of people running there. Phoenix Z finding himself on the side of the fight here. But get a little backup from Cobalt. Gets the knockup in the middle of his ultimate channeling. Falling to the, uh, the space disease coming out at him. Oh, Vosh hits him with the hook. Has to ult a way to get out of there. And the rest of Merc Wolves is going to have to run from this fight. Seeding the uh, dragon over to Ocean once again. Hell yeah. What would you think about that, basically? Uh, well, okay. Funny little... I, I just appreciated that the uh, Nautilus like AoE damage from his auto attack killed the Camille there. That looked kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> What can you say, man? One rank in Trample doing 80 magic damage over 5 is too much. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's silly. I, I Like, the, the Camille had such a good play there, but just unfortunately backed up. Um, like, mm. unfortunate that his target had the backup there to, like, actually not just drop instantly. The other thing is, if she had a QSS there, again, she probably doesn't die. Or at least she's a, more able to. I don't know. To change more it up. agency. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I just want to see more more of these QSSs come out for uh, this team. Like, uh, 
the snowman doesn't even have one either. Um, well, the main thing is like, it's hard. Like you have to be able to use the QSS, right? It's one of those things yeah. where I remember when I was a player many years ago. Probably if I played right now, I can barely remember that I had a QSS to use in the middle of a fight. Right? You're thinking about all these calculations things. and things, right? And if you're not a player that's like, I can make use of this. Don't waste right. the money, right? You're just gonna unless you're just there for the magic resist. But in that case, yeah. You need to get it. That's, so, that's just how I feel about a, what a lot of players do. That's true. Yeah, well, That doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> I'm right. I was going to say, it's not correct, but I understand it. Yeah. Um, I do think that Merkles really need to hang in for a hot second. They're only down three and a half A. So really, they just need to, like, wait for that Wombo combo. Wait for the perfect Wombo combo. Don't take, like, an okay Wombo combo. Take the perfect one. And figure out how to get yourself in the position to make that happen. Exactly. That's how they get back into this. I 100% agree with that, especially with the team fight potential that this team has, right? Yeah. They do have the saber that bounces everywhere. They have all sorts of damage. And, all and so when I and and so just to say it, because when I say they need to find the perfect one and they can't just take any of them, they have to get this Kaisa Flash first. If they don't, there is no perfect fight because she was way too good of a player. He won't make the mistake of not flashing a Malphite ultimate. Um, and he, right. he has the reactions to do it every single time. So it has to come either from like total fog of war or point blank. Like if you flash Malphite ult perfectly in point blank, that could be enough. So we're going to have to see how Merkwives, Merkwives are able to pull the trigger because as long as she has that flash, he's not going to go down. Exactly. Oh, sh ouch. Snowman took the hit. On that one. That was a ton of damage. That Void Seeker hit him for... It felt like infinity at that point in time. He just hit... That, the amount of damage just might as well said base. Oh, Flash coming out for the Alistair. That is unfortunate. That's another tool in the arsenal of Wolves that they're not able to use for the next five minutes. So we come back to the mid lane here. Ocean knows that they have the summoner advantage. So perhaps they get some chip damage off here. Cobalt. Oh, the Wind Wall stops the Orn ultimate there. Face the wind, it says, Forge God. And you are not able to use your abilities this time. They're going to clear them away from that turret, but instead they just get to back up themselves. Yeah, so one of the other things to point out here, um, this Orn is going to have, like, 300 armor this game, and will be very hard to kill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, with Grey's Gambit being their only AP threat, and really Malphite being, like, a pretty one-dimensional damage like it's his damage is like front-loaded into his ult and like his combo off of his ult he doesn't really do too much like he'll either die instantly or the enemy team will die instantly and like he's not he's not good at actually dealing consistent ap damage in this uh location yeah this and agreed and at this point in time i don't think there is enough true damage in the kit of the uh the uh, top laner which is yeah currently yeah, some true damage me. For camille sure. of course yep. you know we're not we're not getting enough of that to get through all that armor right but they do have a little bit of uh true damage from the conqueror i wish i could camille also went conqueror just because of this one-dimensional damage comp that they have mm -hmm. uh went for the klepto I one of that greedy build that. you know it's one of those things you think you could take over the lane if you don't take over the lane with klepto you just feel bad about it in the end of the game right yeah What do I really do here? Oh, okay. A little bit of trading back and forth. Uh, Klepto gave him about 430 gold this game. That's not too bad. Oh, Lionson doesn't have TP. This is bad. Ooh. Oh, sorry, Flash. He doesn't have Flash. Malphite, Flash, Malphite, oh, there it is. They get She's it all going in there. Out. They're just doing the damage, falling out here at this point in time. They're chasing him down. She falls super low, but does not die. So with him almost and still out of the fight, though. Forever, but 802 is also alive. QSS is still there the silence is off the damage is there but she was just very big snowman has to flash away does not have the damage off and game over flashing out from the jamu with that ace coming out for ocean Woo! that was Woo! close that was sick i so the only reason that that worked for ocean is because it took uh it took Ziver, yasuo and i don't i want to say camille mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. like legitimately 20 seconds to kill that orm um and that one was just standing there taking it. So, need to figure out a way to kill, kill him faster, or that is a very similar team fight to what happened. On the other hand, you lose one turret, get three kills, 
and you get shoes flash so the next team fight is gonna be way easier to execute absolutely but here's <laughs> the funny thing i find about this right is we have the air drake getting picked up the triple air drake coming in absolutely so like we're looking at someone who's going to be moving warp speed around the map and even in combat you know you're gonna have to get those <laughs> You're gonna have to get those ultimates correct because people are gonna be moving even faster to get out of the way of your slow ass cow and rock man. Oh, uh, wasn't I don't I don't know if you saw that on stream, but uh, yeah, you missed that one. But uh, oh shit. <laughs> no, no, you didn't, it wasn't anything. Alistar just like went for the combo on the blue buff to pick it up for the <laughs> just pushed it over the wall. <laughs> Whoops. Very comical. The good stuff. And then yeah. he just stood still for a while because he knew what he did. <laughs> he didn't think about it. Put himself in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's in such a bad spot. Yeah, this here. is rough. Oh, Jamu does not get the knockup though. Okay, okay. So we have the rest of the team uh, going in his position, but yeah, here goes Bosch. Oh, no, 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 they're no. being baited. This is the double. This is the classic team bait here. Bomb M going down. Goes into the Baron pit. Ooh. They find Shu on the backside with the uh, ult combo from Yasuo and Alphite. Okay, they were watching for him on the backside. I was, I was paying attention to everyone doing the fancy moves, but Bomb Yam coming back into the fight. 802 flashes over, leaves his teammate for death. Gray's Gambit also finding himself in bad position. Cobalt gets to flash for the kill. 802's walking in the other direction. Snowman also has to get out of there. Oh, who gets pincered? Squished like a bug under the heel of the ocean's might. Yeah. So. They do pick up that 700 gold shutdown on Kaisa, so they pick up a thousand gold, but it goes onto the Malphite. Not, I, I mean, it's it's okay because you need the AP damage anymore. I would, I think it would have been much better to see that go onto the Yasuo to try to like really get through this Orn a little bit harder. Maybe pick up a Last Whisper like straight up. <laughs> Someone, it. like Camille or Yasuo, need to pick up a Black Cleaver here too. Like, this armor is just ridiculous. It's gonna be really hard to deal with. I'm not really sure how they're going to deal with it at this point because, again, he's just going to walk up and prevent any sort of positioning that they need in order to get those ultimates off because, you know, Orange is going to be moving forward. But I like that. I like to see Ocean playing it intelligently, right? Looking at yeah. the comp, making sure you get your and, build right. And so I'm sure Shu is sitting there when he gets Malphite ulted and he also ulted and he just says, yo, like, two, like, Malphite's, you know, literally, as I described earlier, Malphite doesn't do anything after his ult. So all you have to do at that point is... Uh, get on the Yasuo and try to kill him. And they almost did, did, but instead they managed to get his flash, which is pretty good enough. So yeah, so. yeah. Definitely good enough. And with Yasuo without the flash, he's going to have that significantly uh, less survivability. And Cobalt doing the 1v... Or Cobalt's trying to duel 802 up on the top side. We'll see how it goes. 802 is falling low. He I did mean, however miss that. About. You just... Oh, oh, tries to get the knock up there. The unstoppable pushes him back. 802 smells blood in the water. Cobalt's going to have to leave. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So ridiculous how much armor that guy has. And the Warmog. So he's just going to sit under this tower and get full health. Which is exactly what needs to happen because, meanwhile, in the mid lane, they have inhibitor turrets being shot down by that artillery cannon, being empowered by Baron Nasher's buff, making them real big boys. Is that what they're called? Are they called artillery? Uh, I guess they're called cannon minions. Okay. <laughs> I mean, technically, I, I, I don't know. They're, they're, they're like right. performing the uh, the role of Art yeah. performing the role of artillery in this game. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, they're giving it up though. Not yeah, they don't want to get one more time. Yeah, I guess that must be the case, right? Like they're just trying to pay respect to the team comp, rotate top perhaps, make them come to them. Oh, this is scary. She was there doing some damage. Putting himself out in the open, knowing his team is there to back him up, allowing them to push up that wave. I like this. They're playing smart, right? There's a lot of free damage the, coming out in 802. The mm -hmm. pink wards for motion are also just, like, disgusting. So much, so many good pink wards. I don't know why they rotated. Well, actually, I guess I, yeah, I guess I understand it. They lost their cannon minion mid, so they needed another one. So they went top one to pick it up. A couple bases coming out, so it looks like Ocean's going to reset. Makes the sense. I like to see that. It's not cracked yet. So if you're a if you're a Team Merkles fan, it's not dire quite yet. You still have your wombo combo to rely on. Oh yeah, and that Yasuo has completed three items. Is starting to look pretty dangerous in these team fights. You saw he even with all that armor on the top laner Orin, he was still able to one v one and not lose. 
Yeah, it took. Yeah, the conqueror healing really helped him out on that one for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about a four thousand health, three hundred and eighty-seven armor orn. <laughs> That's a lot yep. of damage coming out. A lot of damage. Ocean gonna pick up a Drake here. So they're going into the Elder Drake territory of the game with five dragons, which is terrifying. Oh yeah. It, you have that is now a must defend. Yeah. If you lose the Elder Dragon, that game is over. It's, what is it, fifty true damage per dragon? Per dragon, yeah. So it's two hundred and fifty yeah. true damage per was it per three or something goofy like that? It's really ridiculous. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Yeah, it's it's a fair amount of damage, and again, it's just It'll just be over if that if that comes to that. But we'll have to see what Merc Wolves mounts here because again, as you said, they are just sitting there with that threat of the wombo combo just taking them all out at one go. And they're not that far ahead on the side of Team Ocean that it's that they'll just survive such damaging abilities. So we gotta see what do you think out there in chat world? Do you think the Rec League Week Five season Five. <laughs> this is week one at season five. Uh, this big game here. Are we gonna see some wombo combo comeback ac comeback action, or is the wave too large and will crash down upon the wolves, stranding wolves them from their Wolves or waves, baby. Exactly. Wolves or waves. See, so we go. We got a little bit. Of, I like this back and forth. They're clearing out some wards here, so they can actually have the possibility of the threat of a team fight. I feel it's really good. I like to see some good standard League of Legends play. I'll have to I'll have to check the stats later, but I think if we were to look at the stats, you would see Team Ocean probably has like I uh, many 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 more uh, pink wards. Ooh, game. 802 was going for the almost got away cleanly, but then Shu had the flash in there trying Wait, to get the playoff. But then oh, he gets ulted. He goes down. Who does? Oh, <laughs> gets killed. Bam Bam goes in for the damage. J is getting yeah, godlike on that. Good. But this is though four much. wolves are alive versus three of the ocean members. Gets the damage off onto, I believe he got 802 with that one. Yes, he did. Graze Gambit also going down. It is now three oh versus goodness. two. Turning it around. Lion Sin is going down. That's the ace on the side of ocean. Turned it all the way around. Team Ocean really pulled that one out. That was disgusting. Like, How did that happen? The most, well, I mean, honestly, Jamu is as fed as true. This is very nine and one right uh, now. <laughs> But man, yeah, so I think that really, to me, that really just shows the one-dimensional, like, aspect of Malphite. He he threw his ult down, an hourglass, and immediately died when he came out. Yeah, there was really nothing else to do at that point. But he did right. his job. They did get the assassination off Andeshu, who used his flash to be very aggressive. Thought he could take out the Yasuo, which would have been a very clean 5 versus close. 4. Like, it was really sick. It was super close. Oh, absolutely. It was definitely a good play. Did not pan out for him, so he did take the, the, the kill and the loss. But... For his yeah. death, they overcommitted and they got that top inhibitor. So one of the one of the issues he ran into there was when he went in, uh, the Yasuo Q, it doesn't do damage through the Banshee's Veil, but it does stack the, the like tornado combo for the Yasuo. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was able to get a knock up, and I think that was one of the reasons why Shu had to, knew he had to dip, because if he got knocked up, he was just very dead. Here comes the teleport in. Baron is almost dead, 10%. There's not even a 50-50 going in. Lion Sid just walks into death. Bomb Bam hook shots into his oh. death. Grace Gambit gets the four. The four man oh. knockup. Here it comes. 802 with the damage coming out. But they are just too tanky right there. The double kill yeah. for the shoe. Woo! I was so that was what they needed to have happened, but they needed to have it happen before they were 12k gold behind. Exactly. Or it was and, more like nine. And nine, two people dead, just... right? The two of them yeah, died two... immediately, yeah. Unfortunate uh, for the wolves there. It looks like I believe this is yeah. going to be easily the final push here for but, I mean, Ocean. Honestly, that was a sick show in promotion. They played this game very well. Yeah. Very few mistakes. Um, really well done. Yeah, you got to know these these uh these friends looking real good together, knowing each other, knowing the back. So clearly they're going to have a good showing up front. The untested yeah. team of the wolves still looking mighty tasty though. Yeah, like both teams are looking good coming out of that uh, to me anyway. Yeah, absolutely. I'm very excited for the next game coming up. We're just going to put on a very short break, and then I want to get back into it as soon as we can. Probably just five minutes, and we'll go on from there. Don't go away.
Welcome back to the Rec League. This is Season 5, Week Number 1. And we're back after the first game of this incredible series thus far. So fun to watch Ocean and Merc Wolves go at it. I'm here with Icicly. Icicly, what do you think of that first game? Fun game to watch. Ocean really put on a clinic. Uh, but there was a lot of stuff that Merc Wolves did right. So, good, uh, good look overall for the game. I, I'm excited to see how the series rounds out. If... As Mr. Neat says, can the wolves learn to swim or will they sink into the ocean? Uh, that's what we're here to find out. Definitely. Really what it comes down to. So that we just have to get the uh, got to get the old uh, lobby ready to go. So we can do that. We'll get these games oh, going. But that, fair enough. Yeah, man. Did you, do you have the thing or should I do that? You do the thing. Yeah, I don't have it right now. If you could, please. So with that, I'll just talk a little bit about the, some of the highlights of game number one. We had a little bit of... Uh, we had some back and forth action on the bot side. We had a very good place coming up from Work Wolves. You can definitely tell that they're paying attention to the comms. We had a four man early game first blood on the bot side off the teleport from the top lane. Looking really good. Uh, we got Bomb Bam coming in looking a little spicy on the top side, but, but you can't count out Cobalt who was sitting on the top side who was able to uh, give himself plenty, plenty of farm to get himself as the primary tank. What ended up coming down is we had Ocean just taking those little bits of victories here and there, right, across all of the game itself. Looks like we're being invited to multiple games here, Isaacly. I'm not sure which one to join. Probably. Yeah, they have a full game sitting in. Uh... Well, they're not on the tournament code, are they? Oh, were they? Are you on the tournament Oh, uh, I have no if they're idea. on the tournament code, then that's fine. I don't know if they're... Was the first one on the tournament code? Did we not use the tournament code? Did you not? I didn't, I didn't make it. Okay. Come, come to my game. Okay, I'm in. Okay, so we're back to it. <laughs> Bringing the professional back to the stream. You gotta have a just to give a little bit of a uh, sorry about that. You know, first stream of the of the year of the season. Trying to go so well. We gotta iron a couple things out so we can make it smooth as I guess butter. People more than say. What else is really smooth out there? Chat. I need to know what else is smooth out there. What is the sort of thing that you want that's smooth like this we're going to be able to do for you in the future? Ouch, Mr. Neat hit me with the excuses. Doesn't feel so good. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. But other than that, <laughs> we're getting the game set up for game number two. We do have Ocean with the game one lead. Merc Wolves was looking very strong, though. I'm very excited to see what this game comes for them. Uh, bring, brings about per se because I think there's going to be some adaptation of course I don't think that Merc Wolves will be maybe bringing that kind of all AD approach that they have or at least if nothing else put a little bit of AP in the top side or a little bit more carry potential in there we'll have to see what's yeah. going down yeah we'll have to see how it how it works out yeah, I'm not too sure at this point I love seeing the uh, if you've been following the rec league for a while you know that team ocean these are a lot of names that you've seen together in the past, and I love seeing that come together. It's kind of like a reunion tour. Feels so good. And Gray's Gambit crew, they're looking honestly. They're looking pretty good. I think just with a couple missteps that swung the game in the other direction, that is something you can easily fix, especially within even the course of one week. And if they do fix it next week, I will be the first one to start the meme. Right. It's been, you know, I'll do the whole thing, dude, if it has to. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just make up a, a Merc Wolves, you know, quick, <laughs> Merc Wolves quick throwback for you. But other than that, I think we're uh, looking pretty good for the game to be starting here in just a, in just a minute here. I think everyone's just, just about ready to go. I'm really excited. I want to see the adaptations, right? Merc Wolves, you know Gray's Gambit is a student of the game, wants to pay a lot of attention. You know 802's got... Some sick things up his sleeve, and I hear, according to chat, that Bomb Bam is about to go off right now. So we gotta see what goes on here, and exactly, we gotta just, just don't give Shu the triple in the early game, and you might, you might find yourself in a different position. So other than that, it right, looks like think... we're looking good. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, yeah, I can't, right. I can't I'm chat ready. if you can. Uh, yeah, I, I typed into chat. Awesome, awesome. We'll, uh, no, we just hang out and let him start the game. I'm prepared. I'm very prepared. I love watching, love watching that early uh, League of Legends gameplay when you get to see like the the thought, right? Who can outthink each other in the in the uh, champion select? 
And I gotta say, like a lot of people, like when I was a young player and I was really bad at the game. No comments, please. Uh, and in a, looking at Champ Select, being like, oh, you know, whatever, it's just Champ Select. You can absolutely win in Champion Select. I've seen it happen. I've seen teams be dismantled. You know, a, a team, nay, nay, I say, nary, I say, a couple seasons ago, in the finals, right, just figured out. I believe there is a there's a specific uh, game plan. Perhaps you even came up with basically. What game? It, Oh jeez! <laughs> just figured out the scuttle crab victory, and you, you took him down. Oh, Air versus yeah, scuttle, that, season three. Unparalleled aggression. Yeah, no, for sure. That's what they need. Just pick any support, or you know, Leona, and just go in. Just make it happen. And that's what I want to see. I want to see people going in, but at this point in time, I just want to see the game starting. <laughs> I know. I'll start doing some like karaoke hits going on right now. Also, one thing I want to point out for last game that we did touch on really quick that we didn't get to see, which I will toss over because we are in Champion Select. Boom! But we did not see a Rise ban or pick. I know. I So I actually wanted to talk about that before we got into Champion Select, but didn't think it was appropriate. But seriously, like if they had Rise in that comp, if Bomb Ban was on Rise, I don't know if he picks it, plays it. But if he was on it, like picking that stuff into tanks is super good. It's a ridiculous champion. And that would be also exactly what they were looking for versus an Orin, too, because he's not do super well versus champions like Ryze, who can kite him around. Feels real good. So good. Here we go. We got a couple of the uh, the looking very similar. Oh, oh, just kidding. And we're back. Ray left. No rage quit. Just just leave. Probably something not working. Probably bugged. Uh, yeah, something must have bugged, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. You know, we have these... We have these things. We have to blame Riot. It's a small independent company. What can you really say, you know, about some of the things that they do? Some of the problems, some of the difficulties. Give them a hot second. It's all right. We give enough time so we can uh, we can talk about unofficial sponsor Fig Newtons. Delicious, fantastic treats. I've actually uh, talked to Fig Newtons, and uh, hopefully, you know, they can come up with a gluten-free bar. Because I found a oh, couple yeah? of them that are very similar to Fig Newtons, and I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to talk to Fig Newtons. They might have to up our rate, or else slap uh, you know, the, uh, slap the Rex League logo on there. Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to move over to this new uh, this new Fig Newton substitute. But I would love to see that get the Rex League going, showing them how who it is. So right now, what we're doing is for those of you out there, if you are not a part of the game or you're paying attention, we are just waiting for someone to come back in. We had a little bit of technical difficulty for the players they were not able to see what was being picked and what was being banned so have to go back in and have to give right, it part two i think we are ready to go any moment yeah yeah i'm just i what i want to see here from from uh from the games us i'm still looking for the wombo combos man that's so fun to watch i just want to see some yeah. disgusting damage come out from like, somebody despite Despite it did nothing, that last mouth, four man mouth at all was really cool to watch. Oh yeah, all four coming up. You got the Yasuo coming in. The damage was there. Just they were just too tanky. They were too big. Here we go back in the quick first Sejuani and the uh, uh, Zaya. Right, 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 right. Whew. I right, so taking off the table. Just throwing some more uh, eighty carry bands out there. Yeah, saying Shu, you're not gonna don't play anything that gets too big in the late game, okay? Thanks. Yeah, but other than that, we got the Mundo, Dr. Mundo being taken away. Don't want anyone going off on that champion. Goes where they please. Morgana being taken away from Bash the Stampede, of course. I wonder if we're going to see a first pick Nautilus to take it away from Bash right here. Put it on Lions and Escanor. Otherwise, that's coming first pick, right, for Ocean is what we're expecting here. Hmm. We'll see. Ooh, taking mouse. away okay. the Malzahar. So, yeah, yeah. Mr. Neat says that he wants to see Phoenix on Nico. See if he's picked up any skills in the offseason. Yeah, Nico's probably okay against Malzahar. It's probably not the best, but there's the Nautilus pickup for Bash because, you know, it ain't broke. Like I said, man, if it does not get picked up, you know it's going. You know it's going. So, other than that, we have to see what are the first primary picks that we're going to be uh, the taking. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think that's a good move here. I think so too, right? Because it's such a yeah. it's such an abusive champion. You can just like bully in all the time. Just bully so hard. Exactly, and which is which is what they want to do in the bot lane. They just want their bot lane to be winning. Period. Makes whether that sense. winning, whether that winning is a five and okay or a Kaisa at six minutes, or <laughs> whether it's a two hundred farm Caitlyn at fifteen minutes, you know. Yeah, I definitely so want that's to see. All How do you feel about Caitlyn's late game nowadays? Uh, so this new Essence Reaver build is really gross. If you uh, so I E Zerker's Essence Reaver, um, if one of your headshots crits it at like you know in the low twenties minutes of the game, your headshot can crit for a thousand, and it's oh just God. it does so much damage. Oof, that's pretty brutal. Uh, one thing I'm super interested in is the uh, blind pick Cled. Yeah. Now that's something that can come back to super haunt you. I love Gray's Gambit's Olaf though. I think that's a way better pick for him because it's gonna get him on the map and into like in the face of the enemy team, like so fast. And Kled Olaf as a combo together is like good. That's gonna get the Olaf into the place he needs to be. He's gonna get get that Olaf on top of that Caitlyn. Oh, that's so true. And if there's nothing scarier than an invulnerable to CC running death machine coming at you full speed I'll beat it out of you. maximum tastiness coming at you yeah Not so that, let's see things. what bands go away right to take away the Ezreal take away the Sivir take away any comfort champions to try to put snowman as the biggest disadvantage that they possibly yeah, can in the bot it's, lane it's about, it's about getting snowman onto a champ that can die easily and Sivir and Ezreal are both champs that are able to just not die ooh and there's a, yeah that's a good pick up pick the Viger up or Jmu, get, yeah. get an extra Omega scale into the game. The other, <laughs> the one thing though that I my play now I want to see I want to see the Vigar cage go up and just Olaf run truck through it, run through it, just yeah. axe this man down. But then we got the Tristana picked up, which is another champion that does have a fairly long escape. Gonna have to be playing that a little while, and also shoves, so it's possible to uh, yeah, you know, give himself some opportunity. But although. <laughs> How do you feel about Tristana? I always have a terrible time farming. You know, like accidentally blowing up some stuff just a little bit too oh. much. Ooh. Please. No, do Pike. Yes. No. No. Uh, okay, ah. goes to the <laughs> ah. goes to the Thresh, getting a little bit of that control for the yeah, bot lane. There. I think I think the Pike actually would have been way better there. Because uh if you play the Pike and are able to get onto the Kalen at any point in the old pop on the top. Nope. Jungle? Poppy jungle. Could be yeah. orange jungle. Yeah. But it's poppy jungle. Anyway, if yeah. uh if you had gone pike and you were able to get on top of the cade at all, like Tristana's a built like uh target selection is really good in the two v two because you can just kinda like jump past someone to get on so I don't know, I just feel like that combo would have been really lethal and might not have it might have caught Shu and Bash off guard a little, maybe. They're both super veterans, so I doubt anything can catch them off guard. But if something could, uh, yeah. a random pike pick might be some one of them. Absolutely, and and if you you could definitely, if nothing else, pike is going to be taking flashes left and right, right? If you land any of those hooks, land any of those stuns, you know people are going to have to get out of there. And right. again, like you said, one of the big things is going to be taking the flash away from Shu, just to just to possibly get some damage off onto him, right? Get him into a position that could spell his doom. I don't know. Even looking at these team comps, so so tell me a little bit about this uh, Wolves team comp. Tell me how it generally structures, right? Because we got the Cled in the top side, we got the Olaf going to be running at you real quick. We got the Malzahar for the single target selection. But how does this team comp work together, especially in the late game? You know, for the most part, it kind of depends how the top side goes. Because if Cled and Olaf fall behind at all then you're going to be so heavily relying on this Tristana to actually be that hyper game carry. And that's not the lane that's going to go well, like off the bat. Right. Right. So it's, it's a little scary, but if, if they do manage to get that cloud ahead uh, and roam it to mid lane, get on the Viger, you know, get the top side of the map going this game, which the, again, the Malphite just cause it's, it's inability to like gank. Well, um, kind of prevented Gray from doing that. And Gray is one of the junglers who can do it. Like, Gray is a phenomenal early game, early tempo jungler. So if anyone's going to be able to do it, I think it is him. Sable, you out there? 
Might be him too. <laughs> Definitely there, probably paying attention right now, looking, scouting the enemy, scouting yeah. the team that he's got to fight, knowing where to go, where to, where to jump into the jungle and mess him up. <laughs> but other than that, we're gonna have to see exactly because again, Malzahar at post six, right? One of the easiest lanes to gank for. Yes. And uh, you're not getting Super away from true. Olaf with a Malzahar, right? Yeah. As soon as that, as soon as that uh, goes away, you're either flashing or you're getting hit by axes over and over again. You do have to be a little careful with the Malzahar, though. Uh, the Viger is able to, like, you can interrupt the Malzalt with the Viger ult um, because the Viger ult doesn't, like, come down instantly. It, like, takes a hot second. Oh, the cage? So if you time, if you time, yeah, the cage, sorry. Ugh, the ult. Yeah, the cage. So if you time it correctly, you can potentially. That would be pretty sick, but, you know, you got to be, uh, that's one of those things. You have to, like, 3D, like, 4D chess, right? You have to know that right. they're looking for an ultimate on you just yeah. so you can be ready to, or just be ready to put the cage at all time. So I'm also interested, while we're chatting about this, chat, what do you think about these team comps? Let us know so we can read it and, uh, you know, comment on what you say. I promise we won't make fun of you. We'll just comment and not make fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> Take note on the Raptors. I don't know. Let's see. Well, let's let's go look up the, uh, the score. Let's see. The Toronto Raptors. What are they doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> how they how they right? I don't think basketball season's even going on right now, right? Yeah, it's not correct. Yeah, okay. That's the 2018 Toronto Raptors. How they doing? How they do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see their standings. You know, it's the last time do. we saw the Raptors <laughs> out in the wild. Yeah, not in Jurassic Park. You know, various movies and such. Really. I guess they were number one in the Eastern Conference. All right, you know, when when, so, uh, the, when the man's right. A good old popping off. The classic pop-off. Coming in for him. So here we go, jumping in the game, making sure my O's aren't too thick. <laughs> this time around. So here we go, we're busting in. Let's see what we got as far as the skins today. We got the three on this side of the Wolves. Not picking up the Kled or the Malzahar, making me sad, but we got the five skin on the ocean. That's what I'm talking about. Basically, you know anyone who has five skins, you know they're they're serious. Yeah, they're looking they're looking for the for the win for sure. They're trying to pick this one up. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean Absolutely. Everyone knows you use RP for the advantage. Everyone knows this. Yes, money buys games. It's true. Hundred yeah. percent. So what do you want to see as far as these games in the early game? Are we expecting any particular aggression? Are we looking for any one of these teams to have to take the early game in order to stand a chance? Uh, you know, no. I don't think so. I think both these teams in the late game, should they both get there, are kind of like even. So I think the early game is just going to decide the tempo and kind of like decide the game. Um, the one thing I will say is, you know, they got the infinite scaling on the Viger, and they have the extra item potential from the Orn. So they do have just generically more stats if it does get to the late game. So I guess I guess the late game, I do got to give the Ocean. Um, so I think... But that isn't to say the Wolves can't win the late game if they get there. But Wolves, Wolves going for this invade. Yeah, very aggressive invade, but an Seems awesomely be, placed, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> smelled out. They exactly. had a ward. That ward was perfect. It was exactly what they needed. They saw the axe come in, which gave them the maximum quantity of time to get out of there. I would have liked to see Jamu just go start blue off that. There he goes. Cool. Now is Gray's Gambit. What is he doing? Or oh, at least ward the blue. Okay. Yeah, so Gray's going to start red. Cool. Yeah, we'll see. So at least if nothing else, he's going to get the uh, red into blue, knowing if, if uh, Gray tries to invade on blue side, which is nice. So a good start. Other than that, we got Phoenix Z rocking the Leprechaun skin versus 802 rocking the default Pauper skin. Well, we're so gonna see she, the she's sitting up here. Mm -hmm. Shooting the blue buff. Is he just getting, getting the stack up? Yeah, yeah. That's next level thinking again. She was truly a student of the game, right? Pays yeah. attention. Tries to get every possible advantage at every time. Love seeing He's that. also using the Caitlyn skin that I used for like five years of playing Caitlyn. Oh, absolutely. So. The Arctic Warfare Caitlyn? Definitely yes. a good one. 
But I'm just saying, we had we had to get you Pulse Fire, though. Speaking we of which, it is Icicle's birthday. If you do need to get him some skins, oh, you know where to go. <laughs> Hit the man up. Give him some love. But on that, we do oh. see a little bit of bear <laughs> bear trap on a rub pulling Cobalt back in. At the moment, we got Shu and Vash just pushing it in as expected. Getting that good CS numbers. Yeah, Cled's just good against tanks, so makes sense that oh hello jamie wait a minute what's they both have wait, what is this? yeah this is this is this is some back and forth oh, oh stun into the wall great game because for oh gets the smite for the thing although jamu does get the uh does oh, get the smite. oh first no. blood for shoe with the red good buff. claps from shoe there oh shit but not only is it the first claps or the first blood it's the red buff i know i got one thing to say and i'm gonna say it very quietly for all you're fucked <laughs> she's got red buff on Caitlyn in the early game. You're gonna get poked and set on fire nonstop. You gotta go to the nearest Planned Parenthood because you're gonna have shit's gonna be on fire, friends. You're gonna be yes, <laughs> pee in flames for a week nonstop. So here we go. Let's see if Phoenix can pick up all of this farm. No pressure or anything, Phoenix. Oh, okay, it's a majority of it. I'm I'm proud of it. Oh. Got the motorcycle in the background. Love that. Bomb Bam yeah, going in on Cobalt here. This man is insane. I think Cobalt could have gotten the kill on that one, but it gets remounted. But here we go Who's on the those? top side. <laughs> Teleport coming in. Jamu is there. Puts just puts the W on and leaves, right? The, her, the steadfast presence. He was like, you know what? You're teleporting in. I'm just leaving. This isn't worth it. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Yeah, so Cobalt did actually get um, the Kled Flash. So... It for, for nothing. So he actually would have had a kill had that not flash not gone down. Yeah, definitely definitely good. I, I like it. Cobalt doing the good fights in the top side. Uh, Bombay, I'm also looking pretty good. Keeping up. Uh, definitely ahead in farm. Cobalt having a little bit of trouble with that. I understand. Playing uh, tank champions sometimes can be a real pain in the ass when you're trying to farm under tower. But other than that, you just got to give Shu all the breadth in the world. Had the freeze on for a little while. It was just... Just bringing up his CS numbers real high. Like feeling that one. Other than that, we got Phoenix in 802 just kind of doing their thing in the mid lane. Nicely deadlocked in the farm. I think Phoenix is going to be slightly off if he picks up a couple of these. I don't think he did, but that's fine. They're deadlocked. It's looking good. This is looking pretty nice. Basically only the one kill on the shoe. It's okay. It's We're looking all right. Yeah, they're not, they're not that in that much trouble yet, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, Brian the Broken in the chat was talking about this to you. And definitely Merc are definitely sleeper sick, right? Because those TPs are quick. As soon as something's going down, that TP is going in. Yeah. So if you can figure, if, if these teams can get any sort of advantage going on, they're going to start looking real good because those teleports are going to turn the tides. No ocean pun intended. We're glad it happened. So we go Phoenix Z looking in the mid lane. Just to, again, they're not really doing too much trading with the health totals. They're just how many creeps can each of us get? Which is kind of fun to watch. But we got Cobalt here in the bot in the uh, top side getting hit by the bear trap on a rope graze. Gambit is there, does miss the axe because Cobalt did a nice little searing charge early just to get himself out of trouble. Real good, keeping the kills low. Essentially, if you're out there, this is a, you know almost LCS caliber, of course. Oh, but 802 finding himself in a difficult position has to use his flash. Steadfast present preventing him from using any of his movement abilities, which he does not have because he has Malzahar, but that's okay. <laughs> the speed up onto the Poppy, I understand. And otherwise, we're looking good. Shu it no longer has the red buff, so it is possible for them to step up and try to get some CS, but we're looking at a 15 CS advantage, which is starting to look certainly pretty good. He definitely has enough for BF Sword, which that first back is going to be brutal for the bot lane of Merc Wolves. Yeah, but I still think this is generally better overall. Uh, Merkel's, Merkel's bot lane is doing a lot better here. Just waiting. I, they're, they're kind of baiting this. She just is calling for go back right now. I think they're just trying to go back and not have yeah, this no fight. fight happen. Yeah, not being greedy, which is good. Get the get the ward in place, seeing if they can't smoke, uh, smell out what's going on. Right. Makes some sense to me. Another than that, we got Shu and Vosh just kind of... Playing up, but not playing too greedily, right? They're not taking those plays where they where they don't need to, and they're just kind of getting the CS where they can. And getting that poke damage off, too. She has hit at least three of the last four Piltover Peacemakers. That damage coming out, looking real nice. Yeah, he's making it look easy. Making it look easy, for sure. Mm -hmm. 
So we got Phoenix here in the mid lane. Again, he and 802 are just going back and forth, playing the gentleman's agreement just on the farm game. On the top side, Cobalt and Bomb Bam are slapping each other silly. I love that. Oh, we got Pickle Popper coming in with a tier one subscription. Subscribe for 19 months, my dude. But just for that, we'll give you some kill action going on on the top side. Bomb Bam looking real low. Here we go, JMU going in. Unstoppable Jamu gets the kill into Bomb Bam. Falls low, but does not die to the turret. Kill number two. And that's for you, Pickle Popper. That's for you. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got that little bit of flare coming out on the bot side. We'll see if Snowman can pick up some of those kills. Picking up. He is down by 20 CS, but he did unfortunately have to face the wrath of an early game Caitlyn with the red buff. So you got to give the man just... The sigh and the slow nod of understanding, you know. You, know, I understand the pain that you've gone through, but we're seeing a little bit of uh, Gray's Gambit picking up the first dragon here. It's gonna be an early game mountain going over the side of the wolves. Their first dragon of the series, which is definitely what I like to see. Uh, them making some plays on the top side, but Jamu making the revisit on Bomb Bam on the top side, but he's coming in with half health, taking a lot of damage. Bear Trap on a rope. Oh, uh, just unfortunately gets disconnected. Not going to get it, but the edge of the knockup. Unstoppable makes him very brittle. The knockup with the auto attack, and Cobalt gets the kill on the Bomb Bam. He was so, so close. That is heartbreaking on the top side. Bomb Bam was looking so good, but 802 oh. is here. Gets the damage, the suppression, not in turret range, just barely gets the kill on the Cobalt. They are on the board with the Merc Wolves in the Quick Roam. Woo! What do you think about that, Icicly? Turn of events. Yeah, a whole bunch of shit happening there. Uh, in the bot lane, also, all alts being exchanged. Both flashes for Merc Wolves going down. Top lane looked good, though. Oh, yeah, definitely looking nice. We got a little bit of action here. I mean, Lions and Escal. It's looking really low. I don't know about this. We still have a flash and a heal and ignite on the side of... Uh, on the side of ocean, this is this is playing a dangerous game because you can't really yeah. stop them from uh, definitely a scary from damaging state this right here. Yeah, this turret. But I think I think Shu and Vash are going to play defense because I think they kind of reading it uh, in a weird way. I think they know that the jungler's nearby, and Gray wasn't actually there that close at the beginning of that. Okay, there goes the. Oh, spot. gets hit by the hook right now. Gets pulled up. Here comes Shu. Gonna have to go back up. We got the Unstoppable coming out. Ragnarok is upon us. Shu is doing his best to back up. Unfortunately, he might, oh, gets hit by, tagged by the axe, and he goes down. Shu is there. And we have uh, Lineson looking to slow them down for the rest of his team, but he just trades his life away for a one-for-one. Two-for-one. Two-for-one. Mm, yeah. So in the end, they use the TPE. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. Mid yes. Line. So honestly, not a great of events but if you consider where they came from there how like both are how both members of merc wolves have like a collumative like 500 health getting nice. even getting one kill in that situation is is good definitely impressive and we do have uh, phoenix z was able to pick up some uh plating during that because we had again the mid laner coming down to help out so with that plating going to the side of Phoenix Eve, getting a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier of that Vigar, which is going to help them out definitely in late game. So we got Bomb Bam uh, not specifically setting up this freeze like I would hope for. Oh my goodness, I did not see that kill going on. What is going on here on the bot side? We got 802. Oh, which, woo. Man, 802 is looking real sick. Uh... Sorry about that. I did not expect that fight to actually go down. I saw something yeah. on the bot side, but then I was like, okay, there's, there's no way that's actually going to happen. She walked up to, like, stop the um, the base and ate a full Malzahar combo, and then the Malzahar just hourglassed, and the minions just shoot to death. Yeah, disgusting. So here we go. We got in the bot to the top side right now. Cobalt and Bomb Man doing a little bit of that uh, bit of that stuff. But yeah, Chu died twice. He definitely came back and ate a full Malzahar ult. <clears throat> Which I'd like to see. Again, unfortunately, we do have to pay... Oh, here he comes. I saw it. Ragnarok, he's going through. Phoenix Z having to flash. Ragnarok going in, looking to beat down this little Yordle. But Jamu is there to back him up. And Grace Gambit is falling super low. He's going to get knocked into oblivion. Oh! <laughs> lives with 30 oh. health. 
Gray's Gambit. And you know the worst the, the worst part oh. about that? Jmu had the blue smite available. Ah. Could have just smited him. Could have had the legendary, the once foretold blue smite in the air kill. Which would have been just too much to handle. I might have had to get up out of my seat and run around my house. Which I will do. But here we go. Shu on the bot side uh, with Vosh there. Looking to push up to do a lot of damage. But we're getting a little bit of action on the top side. Ultimate coming down from Kleb. Moving him in. Cobalt feeling unstoppable. But here's the ult coming out. Sh shoots in the wrong direction, unfortunately. The Forge God is not feeling him this day. But Jamu is once again here. But he has the full might of Kled. And Grace Gambit goes down. Shut down going to Kled. Which is a really big deal. Yeah. That was kind of exactly what you needed to do. Ex um, they played it super well. They did. But just to get that shutdown gold on to Kled, Ooh. get him. Oh my god, the bot lane. What? So she just legitimately killed that man with no. Oh, what? What happened there? She just got the, the, the assassinate. Yes, no. <laughs> yes, no, there's a. You can, like. That actually. He just killed both players with the, like, hidden trap behind the turret. Yes. Where you put a, tur a trap right there and you can't really see it. Yeah. They both walked into it, and one of them he had to, you know, actually net to get the second headshot, but the other one just managed to do his whole health bar with that one headshot. Phoenix E was doing his best bait technique to try to get 802 to walk in a little too close. We got the yeah. Infernal Drake here. Uh, 802 walking around trying to pressure it. They do have four members in the top. Uh, TP is not available, so it could be a four versus whomever is available, but the red team does pick up the dragon without too much. Get a little poke damage going on the side of Wolves, but... Otherwise, picking up that first Inferno is going to do bode very well for the team fight. Bode very well. But yeah, uh, going back to what you were saying, right? We got the traps hidden, the hidden trap technique. The, uh, you know, the, the technique that makes you uh, definitely Hokage. Right. 802, once again, getting pulled around. Phoenix Z could... If you look at this, like, gameplay technique, right? Phoenix is getting pushed around by 802. Understands that he's low health. Understands that he has his passive up. Can definitely fight him. Phoenix he, uh, could uh, try to mind game this and bring him into areas that he knows he's going to die for. But here we go. We got Shelly being taken down. Jamu is here. He, here they come. We're going to see the rotations. Vash is here also to help out. Vash gets the kill uh, on a killing spree for the Nautilus right now. Uh, Bomb Bam's going to have to run away. Because, but 802 is here for the backup. But so is Phoenix. Uh, 802 does lose his passive, gets a lot of damage taken out, but Phoenix is falling very, very low. Bomb Bam was also there for the backup in case Phoenix tried to be a little manly, going for the big fights. But this time they do back up and get the uh, are rewarded because not a lot of deaths going on. I believe did they yeah, pick up both scuttles? No, didn't have the mana to finish that kill. It was close though. Yeah, definitely could have made it happen. So, so what are you thinking here? We saw uh, who actually picked up. Scuttle crab was that? Oh, Jamu did. Okay, Jamu picked up Scuttle, which is a big win, of course, for Ocean. Bomb Bam dismounted, which is unfortunate because he's not going to really be able to do too much at this turret. Probably gonna have to give it up at the moment because we do have some rotations on the side of Team Ocean, going bringing their might to the top side, saying Cobalt, you just get to fight the two in the bottom. We're done with them. We've moved past this. Teleport coming in for Bomb Bam in the top side, trying to hold the turret as best he can. Taking some punishment for it. Oh, he's just got to pay attention to not step on that trap or he's going to eat a thousand damage. <laughs> Headshot. But here we go. Kled ultimate going in. Charge! Bringing the team on there. Finds himself, though, unfortunately charging into a 2v3, but does have 802 shows up. Get the flash, but was knocked out of the way. Shu gets out of it. TP coming in. Cobalt with the call of the Forge God. See if he gets any knockups. Does not, but Bomb Bam does show up. Gets blocked by good guy 802. Has to get out of there, but Bomb Bam is still finding himself in tough position. Remounts going in for the kill onto Vosh. Falling very low. Does Vosh fall? He does not. Ooh. It is a 3 4 0 on the side of Ocean. That was brilliantly team fought and so close on the side of Wolves. So here we go. We're getting some turrets on the top coming in from Shelly, and then we're getting some push on the bot side. Icicle, what'd you think about that fight? Uh, really well played by Ocean. A little bit jump in the gun by Merkwolves. They just fought like the they they went for the two v two, not knowing it was actually a three v a two v three, and that bit them because they lost all their health bars like more or less before the Malzar even like showed up. 
Yeah, and that's and that's just not gonna not gonna work out for you. But here we have Shelly did get the charge up. We do have a 50% inhibitor turret on the top side for Team Merc Wolves. But again, it does looking a little dire. It is 5,000 gold at 17 minutes. That can be a bit, but again, just a couple of correct plays, a couple of picks, and you can see ourselves back in the game. So here we go. They're coming back in. They're trying to mount the, the classic North American offensive, right? If it doesn't work, run it down mid. Try to take that tower as fast as you can. And it looks like they're about to do it. Boom! Takes the turret. Bring them two turrets to three turrets. I like seeing Wolves coming back in the game. Opening up the map a little bit so they don't have that mid turret giving them the uh, the space to move around the enemy jungle. I like that. But basically, what do you think is going to have to happen here from Burke Wolves? What are you expecting to see in order for them to mount that comeback? In order for them to the play that they have to make in order to put themselves back in this game? Right, so they kind of have a pretty one-dimensional champion set. There's not a ton of, like, they don't have a ton of options. They basically need to get a good flank with the Kled. Uh, whether it's a TP flank to a ward that, like, is far behind. Um, or they... Oh, my goodness. It's a lot of damage. Big headshot. Big headshot. Or they need to figure out a way to not... I don't even... Whew, it's hard. This one's a, this this one's going to be a tough cookie to solve, because they do have the Malzahar, who can just, like, sit and do constant damage from the back line. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be a point where the Viger can just decimate you know this viger is going to get scary I, and that's that's the thing it's one of those late game insurance right you have caitlin who's going to be doing a lot of damage in the early game clearly doing well pushing the graze gambit is half health here comes the call of the forge god Ooh, look at that. oh picks off the tristana in the air unfortunately jmu does move in the wrong direction but might have enough damage to just solo they Ooh. do call it back as the cleds charge monsters. just pushes them back out of there uh that's surprising, considering like most players would have blood in their eyes, right? They have they see red, they just want to go in for that kill. They bring him so close, but Jay Mufon very low gets hit with the suppression. The full Malzahar combo is there. He is getting ticking down. The ignite is there. He's falling super low, but he does not die, bringing this to a four v four team fight. Four v five, four v four, five v five team fight right now. And we have Ocean trying to finish off the Mountain Drake as best they can. Put the cage in. Jay Mu yeah, coming back, just... picking it up. Yeah. I. Yeah, the Tristana just, like, stayed, like, not that if she had based to come back to that, she would have made it. So either way, they were going to lose the dragon, but, like, even right now, I'm not sure why she's here. 300, it's 400 HP, 500 maybe? Yeah, that's a single ability from a lot of characters, and definitely yeah. one headshot. Right. I uh, just, you know, it's maybe it, it could be something like on the comms, right? People are asking for, hey, come, you know, do this quick. Everyone come mid. We got to push yeah, these true. turrets while they're back yep. or whatever. You're right. And there's a lot of team atmosphere about that where, like, it's more about just doing the things together on the map than playing alone. So hopefully that is what's going on. Hopefully yeah, I hope so, too. I, I believe in Merc Wolves. I think they can, they can make things happen. At this case, they definitely have an uphill battle right now considering what they have to go through in order to pick up more of these turrets and in order to pick up their team fights. But yeah, as we I saw, hope, it's possible. I do hope Shu goes to the Assassin's Reaper. I hope he doesn't go another crit. Item. You could. It is a Caitlyn build where you go uh, another crit. Item. Actually, I think that was what... Uh, Cries in Vain did in our mm -hmm. series. Mm -hmm. is in the first game, at least. I didn't see what he built in the second one, but um, in the first game, he went for like the triple zeal items instead of going for the essence reaver which is what you got to bring the hype you know sometimes you just got to have the zeal for the game and in this case i think that's what he was doing true so here we true. go we got the teams here we have um we still have that five thousand gold lead has not shrunk has not grown but we do have on team blue for those of you joining us thank you for joining us this is merc Wars versus ocean we are the rec league this is a tournament that takes place over the course of in this case, it's going to be 11 weeks. I believe it's our regular season this time. Ten teams going at it. And right now, it's Team Ocean versus Team Merc Wolves. And Team Ocean having the upper hand. And we're going to see if Wolf Merc Wolves can wrestle it back from those in the map. So we're back at it again. The Baron Dance. The classic. We got the Vigar in the bot side. Does have TP up. So is able to just push. Doing his best. Kind of like Shen impression, right? Doing his best kind of like... Champion that sits on the sidelines. Although he just goes back right now, I think they're calling him back in. Potentially getting looking for a team fight here. 
Yeah, they got all their TPs. Uh, uh, Ocean does. Well, Cobalt will be in a second. Half. Right now. There it is. There it is. I had to eat my words. Uh, so they got all their TPs. They should just be setting up the vision here. Ah, uh, she's going for the QSS. Uh, that's a very smart decision, of course. Yeah, you got to pick it up, especially at this point in time of the game, right? Any any uh, Mal's ultimate going on to Xu is just immediately dead. Got to give some credit. Brian the Broken in the chat saying, mad props to TL Phoenix not dying to a Mal's Olaf once. Yeah, that's definitely true. 100% true. Yeah, only was chased down one time by the Olaf, but was saved by Jamu at that moment. So that ocean teamwork is real strong. That salt water is very dense. Salt water is thicker than the blood. So here we go. We got a little more dancing going on. I think there's going to be a little bit of vision fighting for a little while. Until we have one team that decides they want to pull the trigger. Or we have a lot of pick champions out here, right? Vash you know, picks up a hook onto somebody that he really wants to get. They find somebody out of position. They Somebody runs into a Vigar Event Horizon. Uh, just, you know, not, somebody not feeling it. So we got a little bit of back and forth. And it's, it's fine. Right. Oh, we'll call the Forge oh. God. Oh, the full biff. It's all right, but here we got it going back and forth. The team fights are going hot and heavy. Vash the Stampede is falling low, but we do have Jamu oh, no, in the middle. This... Phoenix slays the snowman, and Vash is there, has to get out of there. But we do have the Unstoppable running down shoe, but he does not die. Gets all of his health back. Bomb Bam is falling very low. The shutdown going in onto the Malzahar. For the Malzahar, Jamu is there. Cobalt going very ham right now. I can feel the adrenaline in their veins coming through my screen as they pick it up and there it is the, the the ace the five for one on the side of ocean disgusting yeah well played by team ocean uh, the whole team fight looked really good from them to pick out they they managed to almost insta kill the 80 carry for merkel's uh tristana did not get much damage down on that team fight which is huge huge for them yeah, 100% what they needed in order to take out of that fight. Because Tristana, even though... I know that Tristana was 0-2 before that fight, but still has the items to dish out a lot of damage. And without them on the team, it's going to be significantly harder. Especially with big frontliners like Poppy and Orn just sitting in front of your big people. It's never fun to walk through a Nautilus as well. So right now, Ocean is just looking so mighty in this game. Bring it home, then I'll bring a solid 8k lead at this point in time. Gray's Gambit's gonna have to grab it. Can't it's getting slammed it. to the wall. Can he click the lantern in time? Minigame accomplished. Gets out of there in time to not die. Call of the Forge God. Knocks him up in the air. Red team does pick up the dragon. Is not stolen. The Viger is able to drop that meteor storm meteor onto the Olaf. Pick him up as well. Oh yeah, Dark Matter is so sick. It has such a sick quantity of damage onto it. Blue turret is destroyed by the minions. Good work. <laughs> the minions even in sync, but Jamu is there. Stuns him against the wall. Shu picks up the kill and is unstoppable. Unfortunately for Tristana, wrong place at the wrong time. Jamu is looking for those kills. Pushing them back. They do have the Baron buff. They do have a recently acquired dragon. They do have one mountain, so these turrets are going to fall like crazy. Blue turret has been destroyed. Blue minions being destroyed. Blue is going to have to just take a deep breath and figure out how they can crack this code right now because they're looking so good. But they're trying for it right now. They're just the charge oh. going in, trying to make it happen. Gets the hit onto Jamu. Jamu's falling super low. Shut down going onto the Olaf. Bash the Stampede looking in for damage on Bob Bam. He gets re put back onto the mount, but unfortunately is not nearly enough. Oh, damage from shoot. Not enough to get the kill onto 802. But they are there at the turret. That team fight might have cost them the inhibitor. In this case, but oh, Lions is going flesh. in, gets the ah. kill on that one. Shows him putting himself on the highlight reel. Vosh, the support of combat in place. Woo! Other than that, we're seeing some pretty standard rotations. All of the the uh, map is pushed up, so they're able to pick up as many inhibitors as they possibly can. Super minions down the mid, super minions down the top. Bottom tower might be going down from this minion wave, potentially. Uh, I think the minion is not going to be there in time. I love the hurricane on the Kaylin. That was the thing we used to see a lot when it used to stack headshots faster. It doesn't anymore, but in in Shu's case in particular, the ability to auto multiple people 
his team is so good at just like keeping people in front of him and like not on him that yeah. if he's just able to like that hurricane is just perfect for the way they're playing this game for sure and you know that his positioning has been on point for these past couple seasons so he's able to just keep everyone in front of him like you said and just dish out the damage i love it yeah definitely this is the uh this is the shout out to the old sonic sonic build right the classic season like season one oh. caitlin build oh. this every game sort of thing <laughs> yes exactly oh man yeah I, I still remember that one clip of me getting uh three shot by it um <laughs> pow, pow, oh that pow. was funny yeah. So other than that, we have a, we still have the bear or the uh, the Baron buff ticket on a couple people, but other than that, we're just seeing where does Ocean want to bring the fight right now. With the red and, buff, Caitlyn, this thresh isn't getting gonna let's goodbye. Get away. Call the Forge God. You didn't even need it. Just just let's just look at the Forge God. Leave the stage. Exit stage right. Forge God. Out. Yeah. Here they go, just into the bot lane, pushing the last remaining wave. And there's really nothing more that can be said about this. At this point in time, you, you have to deal with the super minions. You have the outer turret still alive on the top side of the map. You still have inner turret in the alive in the mid. So we're not looking at too much uh, that you have to worry about if you're team motion. You're just you're just shoving it down their throat. You're five, they're four. You know. To quote Avril Levine, you know, <laughs> I'm just the boy, he's just the girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Oh, that old up is just gonna. Because there goes the unstoppable, bringing it back in. But here comes the knockup. Cobalt getting up a knockup. There, Shu is godlike, getting the kill onto Bam Bam. She's doing so much damage from that back on. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's real big. So well played. You love to see this kind of AD carry action. I I love it anyway. Yeah, especially again gets the early kills. That he dies early in the game, but then comes back bringing it strong. Vash is just picking them off non-stop with those hooks. He's just teeing them up for the rest of his team. 802 does get the damage on a Jamu, but he does not fall. Double kill going out. Oh, Cobalt does end up dying to this one, but Shu is there to help clean up the rest of the team. Ace on the side of Ocean, and they're going to take this game and the series 2-0 on the side of Ocean for week number one of the yeah, Red Yeah, Ocean looking really convincing here. They uh, seem to have practiced quite a bit. Looking very, very good in week one of season five. Yeah, you definitely cannot fault any of these people for their very, very good gameplay going back and forth. Awesome. All right, so other than that, what do we want to see? It's, uh, are we, are we bringing the, are we bringing the heat with the, who we put it on these, on these interviews? Oh, well, we have to bring Cobalt up. I have to talk to you. Um, I'd go with Jimmy and Cobalt. I think those are two good ones. Let's do Jamie and Cobalt. You got it. Uh, lol, everyone. Yeah, I, I, I turned it off in studio mode. Now it's just, just his names. <laughs> names. Jamie and Cobalt? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, if, if these guys are. Boom. Father and America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Other than that, let me just say thank you to all of you watching you thus far. We are not done for the day. We do have another series coming up tonight at 8 p.m. I believe it's going to be Brambleback versus Infernal. It's going to be two games coming in this time. But until then, hopefully we get to talk to two of our star players of yeah, this particular done. series, Jamu and Cobalt. All right. I'm pull them up. Pull them on in. Hot second. Man. Got to minus so many things. All right. <laughs> Almost. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely tough, definitely tough. But other than that, we do see a lot of the, again, I'm going to change the scores right now. Definitely not Jamie. I'm going to go with that one. That one's Jamie. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Forgot that was my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. All right. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. Thanks. Cool. Absolutely, um, man. The first game, the first series of the season, bringing it with the 2-0. I, my, I, uh, I definitely have the first question is, you know, coming into it, you get a little bit of ocean reformed, you get a shuffling around of the positions. What were some of your thoughts coming into it? How did you feel about the uh, new positions? Do you, feel, do you feel ready for the rest of the season? And do you feel like this was a good display of what everyone else can expect from you? Absolutely. I mean, we, I know we've been putting in a ton of time. You know, it's hard to get everyone together during the week with, with schedules, but we've been putting in a lot of time, like when, when we can practice as a team. And when we can't practice as a team, we putting in those games by ourselves just trying to get familiar with these new roles 
Sweet. Um, specifically, like, uh, Jamie going into the jungle, um, what is, like, I guess, in my opinion, jungling is, like, easily the hardest role in the game. Super hard. Uh, so, yeah, I guess what was, how, well, how has your, been your, like, learning curve there? Because like, you, there were, like, so many times in those games where I was, like, wow, most junglers would have just walked away right there, and you were just, like, always going in, always, like, beating them up. Even if you, like, immediately died afterward, like, your team would still clean up or, like, things uh, like that. It's it's been it's been a big learning curve, you know. Biggest thing for me coming from 80 carries, I didn't really have to talk a lot. Like, mm. I mean, other than like someone's on me, someone's on me. But uh, you know, I'm I'm learning game, game after game that I you know to to just talk more. And just, I have to I have to impact the map everywhere and just you know yeah, make right. sure everyone knows what's going on. It's, it's totally. pretty hard, definitely. That's fair. Do you feel like you've been blamed for everything that has gone wrong in every one of the oh, team fights? <laughs> uh, maybe not today, but uh, some of our practices, you can ask around. Uh, we, uh, some uh, barren mishaps. Just for me, that's all about the jungle. Every time I've ever played jungle, you know, I always feel like the enemy of the team. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm trying not to be, so that's, that's, that's my goal for the year. So Cobalt, in the top side of the map, you brought up the double Orn game. Tell me a little bit about the Orn picks and why you went with that particular champion this week. Uh, I went with Orn because I don't know I don't know Bomb Bam very well. Obviously, never played against him because he's I believe he's new to this year. So um, he, on paper, he looks like he's the best player on their team. So I wanted to give him as much respect as I could going into this. Um, I don't know. He plays a lot of different types of champs up top. I figured that. Orn is something I'm very comfortable on. I grinded a ton of Orn games after the end of last Rec League season, just mm -hmm. trying to learn every single matchup I can possibly and how to play them and that kind of stuff. So it's definitely a champion I was very comfortable on that even if I did find, I would still have a lot of like CC utility. The Orn passive for the Orn upgrades to give gold to my teammates is, is huge. So it's kind of like, it, you know, it works out even if I'm, I'm behind. I guess is what yeah, I'm I was gonna say, isn't that champion just friggin' ridiculous right now? Like, he's he's good. Yeah, he okay. definitely has some bad matchups and a lot of things that are like tough. You have to play a decent amount on him to like figure it out. I think. Yeah, but he okay. claps though. He claps claps definitely claps. claps. Looking so good with that. Uh, I see you guys more questions for the bros. I no. Well, I get Cobalt. How's how's it feel to be on on a two O team over there? You know, like how's how's that feeling for you? <laughs> it feels good. I, yeah, it's it's not bad. Cool. Sounds All right. good, guys. I got one final question for you. This is going to go for Cobalt, and then actually it can also go for you, Jemu. Which one of you two is picking up Scion first? And what game are we going to see it in? <laughs> what makes you think that we both haven't picked up Scion? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's yeah, that's what all, I want to see. About those, we're all about those flex picks. The true Scion players. Yeah, James, James keeps doing... J one of the biggest problems with this is like your prior question with James transferring to jungle is he has no idea what champion he wants to play. So for the past like four months, he's been doing like the you choose two at Chili's. He just like <laughs> samples up playing like two different things every week and just goes around. Uh, Very good. In this case, then thank you again for bringing us the 2 0 victories. Those of you in chat, say goodbye to Cobalt and apparently choose two, which is going to be mozzarella sticks. And the spinach artichoke dip coming on the jungle side. Jamu with the choose too. Hell yeah. Feeling so good this week. Is uh, there anything you want to say to your opponents next week, you guys? Who are we looking at? Uh, Mountain. Sounds like it. They're about to. They're about to get a. They're about to taste it. You know. Get ready. Figure out who to ban. Is it you? Tough. My you pick too. I got plenty. Are you guys gonna make the uh, classic? What, what was it? Twenty? What was that movie where like the wave come? The trailer where the wave comes? Yeah, over yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty? Uh, you know, twenty twelve or something? Jurassic yeah. Park. <laughs> oh, it could be Jurassic Park too. Okay. I know what you're saying. The one where they they play the gong and the mountain gets flooded yeah, with one. water. I know what you're talking about. No, I don't say I was just bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you again for watching this particular game. Don't go away. We'll be switching over to the final game of the night. It's going to be Brambleback versus Infernal. This is myself and Isaac Lee signing off for this particular game. Don't go away.